the inception of Bohico was actually part of a, one of a college social project. So we were part of this uh, project called Project Chiragan College, which was responsible for providing rural electrification to houses which were not connected to the solar grid. So during our travels over there, we noticed that uh, you know there is one crop which is pretty much consistent across most districts in India, uh, which is the cannabis crop. So this led us to the journey and uh, setting off that hypothesis why why is this not happening in India uh, and what are the legal products that we can bring to the market with this. So when we started off in 2013, the first three years of the business was primarily spent in understanding the landscape, understanding in terms of what we can achieve. And our objective was to bring about a legitimate cannabis industry in India. The Bombay Hemp Company, better known as Bohico, brings up a legitimate industry with cannabis and redefines the use of hemp plants for different customer needs. As Bohico, our customer segmentation is very large because we have a textile wing which will primarily look at B2B customers who would be taking this product from us, uh, the hemp raw material, at a large scale. And then we have a B2C side of things which is in the food and nutrition side. Managing this large customer segmentation with legacy systems seemed a hard game to Bohico and they were looking for a system to streamline their business operations. When I joined into the Pohiko, what I saw was we were lacking the system of tracking the inventory. Everything was being either tracked in an Excel format or not tracked at all. We were looking for something that is robust as well as easily to get on into. So that's where the Zoho inventory came in. Did Zoho inventory meet the needs of the company? To compare it with what we were using before, only Certain level of people were aware of how to use Tally as well as how to use the other systems that we were using. Zoho has actually helped us streamline a lot of our processes and ensure that there is accountability at every stage. Every order that used to come before Zoho was not automated at all. Everything was a manual integration. A person looks into the Shopify order, used to do a tally input of the entire product and the system used to go further. After the introduction of Zoho, since it has such a seamless integration with our Shopify channels, which is mostly a 90% of the websites are based on, uh, we saw this one day coming down to zero day. We used to get all the orders in a real time basis. If there is a certain information which is required from the sales team, uh, that has to move to the ops team. It helps us maintain a command in, in terms of flow of communication and that uh, overall has helped uh, reduce internal conflicts that has made uh, business processes easier to understand and easier to implement as well. We can see what our marketplace orders are as well as our, what our offline orders are. It really helps me get a bird's eye view of what the stock situation is, uh, what the production situation is at various points of time. You know, as a team, we've, you know, strictly adhered to certain SOPs where every person right from the sales to the operations staff is required to follow their SOP. And if everything is followed as per the process set, uh, at the end of the day, it helps us get a bird's eye overview or get the reports uh, immediately. And that helps us make a quick decision making that helps us get a better understanding of where the business is and, and how we can modify ourselves to make us more efficient. We bifurcated our teams to work exclusively on Zoho. I have the sales team who works exclusively for the invoice generation and the sales generation part. And I have another team based remotely who has access to Zoho, which does the packaging and the shipment part. What Zoho Inventory allowed us to do was collaborate our sales team as well as our vendors, operations, everything working together. With Zoho Inventory, Bohico was able to automate their tedious tasks by reducing error and duplication. Uh, in which we have multiple sales partner who keeps on uh, going to different locations and they don't have access to the laptops. So the Zoho Inventory app not only allows us to generate sales order reports and the invoices to the customers as well as uh, capture the data that we require. Based on my research, what I found over the internet was Zoho was one of the easiest ones to implement as well as the most highest rated. We started our journey uh, yeah, through Zoho Inventory, uh, you know, implementation of Zoho Books as well as in the future Zoho CRM. So I think that's the next way in which we are moving towards.